I'm Ryan Grahalski from Tecancha, Michigan, and uh, that's South Central Michigan, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I started farm or started no-tilling and uh, strip-tilling, uh, mainly strip-tilling six years ago. Um, and last year I had started uh, seeing a lot of guys around me were using the vertical tillage disc uh, for the excessive amount of corn stubble. So I wanted to try my strip tiller and I ran my strip tiller ahead of the beans. It helped chop up the corn stalks. I ran it in between the rows. Um, I also tried putting down some fertilizer with it and found some, some advantages in the potassium side, uh, especially if we had an aphids or any kind of disease. Um, the other thing that I noticed about it was when we went to harvest it, it built the berms up higher. So the head wasn't riding on the corn stubble, but it was riding actually on the berms that we had built. And th that was an advantage because then the lower potted beans weren't getting cut off and you were able to harvest everything. When I started doing the strip till soybeans, I wasn't sure what to look for, but I knew that there's been a lot of studies on potash being very beneficial with aphids or with soybean diseases. So that was one of the main things I wanted to put down. Um, I also didn't uh, do my normal fertilizer regimen of chicken litter ahead of it that year, so I also threw down some uh, MESC. Uh, what I did find was the increased amounts of potassium definitely paid for themselves and, and then some, and uh, I'll continue to do that. As we got to the higher potash ranges, uh, when I was 100 pounds over my normal rate, so I was around 125 to 150 pounds of potash, um, there was a definite strip in the yield map that, uh, that definitely showed the advantage of that rate over the others. And uh, it was, I, I believe it was almost 10 bushels. 